Three, two, one, go. Friends, family, stay here, subscribers to the YouTube channel Adventures and to the SGOCC. We are here at the oldest baseball park in America, right here in Bisbee, Arizona. Babe Ruth, some famous old players from history, have actually played in this park. See, there's the, there's the way into that dugout. There's the underground to go into the dugout there. That is the uh, right field dugout. There's a locker room. There's more of the adobe that he's talking about. Yeah, here's the guy. You see how old it is, is it's actually splitting away. You can actually be in the right spot. You can see through that, see the outside. <laughs> My name's Jim. Jim, my name's Jeff. This is my brother Jim and his daughter Cassie. Nice to meet you. Come yes. on back. Uh, and this is the this is underneath the old ranch side. See how you can see the adobe, the adobe. Yeah, it's all made out of adobe, but it looks like concrete. <laughs> yeah, the whole facility is the whole yeah. old grandstand is made out of adobe. Mm -hmm. uh, There's more on the base right there that, that, that everything is built on. So what Jim was just telling us is that the walkway in the front of the grandstand is the only concrete. All this is adobe. Yeah, it's amazing. Been here over a hundred years. And of course, this is our side. The boys are a little messy. Oh, not so messy. <laughs> and we'll walk down into the home. State changes, 1947, 1966, 1993, 2002, and 2008. There's a full-size fountain. Well, I don't know, because we're going to be back outside. Uh-huh. This is the showers players would use after the game. This is the other dugout. Home side dugout. I will be down there if I get down there. You gotta be able to see. This is beautiful. So much beautiful history here. Did you get that uh, the wall painting with all the championships? Uh-huh. And the field, the back fence is 444 feet? Yes, if if it was still in play, yes it would be. With the, since the new power poles have been added. We've had to add an inner fence because there's a couple of poles that are in play, as well as the new scoreboard. Oh, man, wow, this is amazing. Is there any more history you can tell us about this place? Well, none that I, I'm too sure about. Uh, you know, uh, you know, some, some people say that you know, there have been a few people here and there but uh, I myself don't really believe that a few people have actually come to play here. But that's the rumor. Well, we've heard stories of, of like Babe Ruth and other major players. Exactly, yes. And then... Yes. Uh, I've, I've heard that rumor too, and, you know. Now, is it true that one of the, this is one of the fields that they allowed black baseball players? Again, like I say, I've, I'm, that's when I, your brother asked that question and I said, I've never... I've never really heard that story. Okay. But there is a gentleman in town named Mike Anderson who uh, probably would now. Probably has that info. And like I say, um, I grew up here, but like I said, I don't ever remember people saying that the Negro Leagues came here. Okay. I do know for a fact that Billy Martin and Clint Courtney played here. Billy Martin, you know who he was. He was a Yankee, and Clint Courtney, but I believe, was a uh, a catcher for a few teams in the big leagues. And Billy Martin went on to be the manager of the Oakland A's, mm -hmm. and I think he started when they were still Philadelphia A's. No, actually, I think he first started when he with the Twins. Twins. He was the right. Twins manager first, and then I forget who he went to after that. What Texas, is this here? The Rangers. That's that's the bench that the players would sit on if they weren't out in the field. 
And he only yeah. allowed one player per <laughs> per uh, batting. And that's where, they, and this is where they put their gloves and helmets, oh. stuff like that. Say, I've been a San Francisco Giants fan since my father took me yeah. to a game at Candlestick Park as a boy, and it was some something to do with the. He worked for the state of California, nice. and uh, after the game, we got to go and have a meet and greet, and I got to meet Willie McCovey, yeah. who. A lot of people don't know this. He's about 13 feet tall. <laughs> he is a big man. He swings a redwood tree for a baseball bat and uses a sheet for a bat. Yeah. Yep. And I've been a Giants fan since that day. Nothing wrong with that. No. The two things, as a former contractor, the two things I love smell wise are grass in a ball field. <laughs> And fresh lumber on the Yeah, right. exactly. And <laughs> yeah. you, it's a, you came at the right time of the of the year for that. Like I say, they're uh, they're redoing the they're redoing the grandstand because it was in a bit of disrepair. Uh, and they're getting. Uh, hopefully, we're going to get a new paint job for the for the backstop and a few other things. Well, if if folks want to donate to the cause, is there a uh, a charity involved keeping the ball field? There's, there's there no is on friends, friends of the Warren Ballpark. Do you hear that, folks? Friends of the Warren Ballpark. Look it up online. Probably have a Facebook page. Contribute. Keep they, this old they, ball field going, they'll folks. They'll definitely, they'll definitely take contributions. They've, uh, they've in the past had the new backstop. Then Net, Netty provided it. They had the new. That's the new. Uh, Bathroom. They had built. The bathroom's way over there, that gray building. I mean you can see there's stands way out on the other side of the field. And it's been a little windy right now. The wind blew down the screening out there. Daddy, I have to go Why to the something? bathroom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is the bathroom open by chance? Uh, no, I'm going to have to open it, which I can't. Well, folks, this is the Warren Ballpark in Bisbee, Arizona. Oldest ball field in the United States. Tim, Cassie, and I just kind of bumped into it and decided, since we met Jim, who's caretaker here, we decided to do a quick little video. We thank you very much, and again... If you want to help support the Warren Ball Field, go to their Facebook page or Friends of Warren Ballpark. Contribute, do what you can. And Tim's a waving at me, so looks like we've got some historically significant things here that we're going to get on the video as well. Looks like contributors and a memorial, and a memorial to some folks. I don't know if it's going to show up on the video very well because of the sun, but put the camera this way, just walk across and everything. People have donated, and it's, it's a donation wall. Yep. This is awesome. See if you can add yourself to this donation wall, folks. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. Y'all know how I feel about history. So, look up their sites, contribute. Let's keep this old bar park going. Thank you very much. Remember to hit that like button and the subscribe button and tell all your friends. Thank you. More to follow.